Hello everyone! My summer garden is coming along so beautifully I felt inspired to do a mandala shaped like a dahlia. My mother-in-law used to grow dahlias and I just love them. So here's some of the colors we're going to use. Um, some very bright reds today and I'm going to uh, make a grid on my 12 by 12 canvas and then I'm tracing a small embroidery hoop in the middle and then this time I'm painting that purple and I'm uh, reapplying my grid lines on that purple circle so I can get a good start on the middle. I'm using my Red Heart Crystal Light crochet hooks and you can see the colors that I'm using so you'll know what sizes. And I started out trying to do a 16 around this center circle and it was just too crowded and I didn't like it so I wiped it off and I went a size bigger on the crochet hooks and just did a smaller amount of dots and I liked how that looked and there was enough spacing that just a little bit of the purple showed through. So I was on my way and I just started walking around that with a little lighter shade of green using my little drill bit from my Craftsman drill set and then I added some white dots on the guidelines and walked around those dots with white and now I'm just filling in a few light green dots before I walk a second row in the pink. This is going to give me the center of my dahlia flower. Now a little darker shade of pink, once again on the guidelines. and then walking those dots around. This particular design is the best for practicing walking the dots because you're going to be doing it hundreds of times and you'll get lots of great practice. Now some white dots. Now we're going to walk around those in a light shade of pink. all the way around. <laughs> have to go back and get that one. I put it on the wrong row. Don't forget to keep those Q-tip handy. You can get those mistakes quickly. They come up pretty easily. Okay, got the light pink row. And now a little bit of a darker pink right on the edge of that purple circle. And we'll start to work on the black. The reason I put the purple circle in there was to give a little bit more of a pop to the center of this flower. Now we're starting out on the red. This is a lighter shade of red. And because my dots are getting a little bit bigger, instead of just walking them immediately, I'm using two different sizes of tools. And then I start walking with the manicure stylus. Then the dark's pink again, and I figured since that center dot had dried, I just put a little bit of the darker green in there. And you can see this pattern is kind of repetitive, but once you stand back and look at it, it's really a neat effect. You're just going to keep walking dots in these petal shapes, once on the guidelines, and then once in between the guidelines doing three to four rows of walking the dots for each of the larger dots on the guideline. And you'll just keep repeating that pattern 
making bigger and bigger petals as you work your way out from the center of the mandala. Now I've got a little bit brighter shade of red. I really love the Golden Fluid Acrylics for red. Um, they just don't fade. A lot of the, the other cheaper brands, they look great when you first apply them, but they will darken as they dry. The Golden Fluid Acrylics in their, their beautiful reds just stay true and they're glossy and shiny and I just, I really like them for uh, red shades that I, I really can't duplicate with uh, cheaper craft acrylics. So now I'm doing a little bit something different on this row. As I'm walking the dots back to the center, I'm lightening them. I just thought it made it a little bit more interesting. See how those are a little bit lighter as I work my way up? Okay, now working on a row in between the guidelines. A little bit darker red. We're making a slightly different shape of petal on this row. I wanted to leave a little bit of black for a contrast. Now back on the guidelines with a larger red dot. Work my way around those. Again, lightening the uh, dots as I work my way back around to the beginning. And I'm trying to figure out here just how far out do I want to work this pattern. I was stepping back and looking at it. I used my blow dryer kind of let it dry a little bit and I decided I wanted one more row of petals here. And once again I am lightening those as I go around the outside and I thought I would do a little bit of a darker purple on the outside just to bring some of the center color back to the outside of the design and I'm walking around that purple in the red and then again in a, sort of a lighter red and then adding an even brighter color on this inside petal. And then a second row of white dots to finish off that row. And see how the contrast really stands out now. The black on the inner petals and then the purple in the center and then the white on the outer edges and I put some darker top dots on top of that purple so it wouldn't be too dominant because I really wanted the red to be the dominant color. Now when I was looking at some of my uh, flower pictures they always had a green background, green grass or green leaves and so I thought I would do a dappled green background on this instead of just leaving it black and to do this I mixed up four shades of green and I'm starting with my darkest shade with a medium sized tool and sort of concentrating that in the corners but working my way out a little bit and then I go to the next darkest shade and just keep dotting and I work my way down to the lightest shades with the smallest tools I eventually fill in every tiny space with my manicure stylus. Takes a long time, but it's pretty fun. And you don't have to be careful or measure anything. You still don't want the dots to touch. 
and you want to get as many different sizes of dots as possible. Right now you're just seeing the medium sized dots, so I'm going to be going much smaller. Just filling in every little nook and cranny. And the effect is really stunning in person. People always come up and they want to touch it <laughs> because they love the way it looks. So you can see I'm just filling in every little tiny space there. See how tiny some of those get? I'm going to let that dry and it's done. I also decided to do a different color because it was so much fun the first time and I'm doing my green background on this one. And I'm sure you have favorite colored flowers too, so give it a try. You'll find colors that really speak to you and you'll have fun doing it. Thanks for watching.